Good afternoon and welcome to the former and current site of Blue Mountain Clinic. My name is Willa Craig and I am still the director of Blue Mountain Clinic. Yeah. At 3.30 a.m. this morning, Blue Mountain Clinic was gutted by an arsonist match. The fire destroyed our property and what remained of our sense of security in the Missoula community. Less than a month ago, when Dr. David Gunn was shot in the back by an anti-abortion protester, everyone in America learned that there is no act that will not be committed by an anti-abortion terrorist in God's name. And this morning, Missoula, Montana learned that there is no place in America that is safe from hateful, misguided groups. This morning, the director of the National Abortion Federation announced the This Door Stays Open campaign in Washington, D.C. Initiated in honor of Dr. Gunn, the physician murdered by the complicity of Right to Life groups, how fitting that we too will announce today that these doors will stay open. We have begun the process to reestablish our medical practices in other offices. Our commitment to justice and dignity in health care in the Missoula community cannot be consumed by an arsonist match. It too is a flame. I wanted you to hear this afternoon, not from the clinic's administration, but from the people most impacted by this act. Our prenatal patients, the families that we have served over the years in every way and by delivering their babies and immunizing their children. The patients of our internist who provide care for our many elderly patients and our therapist who spends much of her time in adoption counseling. You and they are the real targets of anti-abortion violence and it is you, the community, that must tell anti-abortion terrorists that these doors stay open. My name is Beth Thompson and I am a physician at the clinic. I am an internal medicine physician. This kind of action has nothing to do with promoting health and welfare, nor anything to do with saving lives. This is a terrorist attack against our community and against all of the patients who come to our clinic, including all ages and both sexes. I believe it's an extremist intolerance and an, even an ethnic cleansing kind of a mentality towards those with different beliefs. Our clinic has been dedicated to providing access to quality health care services of all kinds, from geriatric to prenatal and abortion care. More than ever, it's critical for everyone to stand up and speak out for the right to make personal decisions in health care as a necessity and as a right for themselves and others. This kind of event cannot help but have an impact on myself and on my patients. I will continue in this setting to do everything I can to promote access to information and services and to provide care in the best way I know how. With time to listen to real concerns, with compassion for difficult decisions, and with respect for personal choices. Thank you. My name is Robert Lee. I've lived in Missoula since 1972. 
because it's a really nice place to live, a good community in a good state. Today I'm very angry. My community is not as great a place as it was yesterday. We have lost our best professional health care facility. The professionals at Blue Mountain provided care for men and women, human care in an atmosphere with intimate, where intimate personal questions could be asked, fear could be faced, and difficult decisions could be made with dignity. I came to Blue Mountain for all my medical needs. My doctor was Dr. Beth Thompson. She is simply the best medical professional I'd ever dealt with, as well as one of the best human beings I've ever known. This clinic provided abortion services among, among its many community and professional services. I am pro-choice. One of the services I obtained at Blue Mountain Clinic was a vasectomy. I don't want to bring any more children into this world, and I don't want to face the decision of an abortion or an unwanted child with someone I love. A vasectomy is a good alternative for men who want to be involved in choice. Blue Mountain provided this service with quality counseling and professional care. Choice means more than abortion, and Blue Mountain Clinic was much more than an abortion clinic. Still, abortions are a choice and should be offered to the women of our community by professional caregivers. This was the case here in Missoula until this morning. Now we've lost that choice. Freedom of choice is one of the qualities that makes Missoula, Montana a wonderful place to live. Senseless terrorist acts by an intolerant individual or group seriously threatens Missoula and the quality of life here. Let's not stand for intolerance. Let's all work together to rebuild Blue Mountain Clinic as quickly as possible. Thank you. My name is Petra de Groot. As therapist at Blue Mountain Clinic, I work with men and women for a variety of issues that trouble each of us from time to time. Care to these patients will continue. We've found alternative office for that. But perhaps as therapist, the work that is closest to my heart is assisting women who are experiencing unintended pregnancies, helping them to explore all options and to reevaluate obstacles that they may have unrealistically perceived. Many clients here in the past will attest to the fact that that has meant many women leave here more certain of their choice for adoption or parenthood as well as abortion. In other words, our true counseling bias here at Blue Mountain has been informed choice. And we're very concerned, frankly, about women in this short interim till we get going, whether there will be access for these women to the same kind of unbiased and objective counseling, uh, the level that we've achieved here. But also as therapist, I would like to just briefly address the issue of what kind of psychological impact this kind of violence can have. Uh, I think uh, one critical term for psychologists is reactance theory. We come to value most that which is threatened. So although some of us, I think, are going to be frightened by this, it will inspire many more of us to cherish our right to self-determination. My name is Colleen Rogers, and my ties with the clinic go back to when my mom was an employee here. So I have received my health care here for the past 13 or so years and have been through three, um, received my prenatal care here for three of my children, and we still continue to come here. Uh, my quest question is, is I wonder if the person who did this understands, fully understands the ramifications of this. This is not just an abortion clinic. I have totally dependent on this for my health care. And more than being a healthcare facility, I have made some very good friends who I know I can rely on for good quality health care. And I feel for them for their loss today. 
and I can only say Missoula has suffered, Missoula and Western Montana has suffered a great loss today, but like Willa said, it's just only a matter of time before it gets going again. Thank you. Hi, <clears throat> my name is Martha Newell. I'm gonna have a baby in two months. I've been using Blue Mountains Medical facilities for the last 10 years and I cannot begin to tell you how angry I am that two months from the re my choice my medical facility has been taken away I know Blue Mountain will reopen and I'm really pleased that I'll be able to continue to get high quality medical care here My name is Peter Schober, and I'm the pastor at the University Congregational Church here in town. I've been asked to make a statement regarding last night's destruction of this good place, and I'm compelled to do so with the sadness that all of us feel today. Should this fire uh, prove to be an intentional act, all people of Missoula need to know that we have been victimized by terrorism. Should this fire prove to be an intentional act committed by a group that's religiously based, then a clear and loud condemnation must be voiced by other faith communities proclaiming that violence and faith can never be compatible. <laughs> Religious violence is a contradiction in terms and it must be deplored, be it in the Middle East or in Missoula, Montana. Fanaticism under the guise of faith has no unique credibility and must be held responsible for its actions. In the strongest possible terms, I deplore this act, and I voice my support for the restoration of this clinic so essential to the public health of the citizens of Montana. As a pro-choice pastor, I pray that out of the ashes of hate, the promise of peace may take root and that it might grow and give justice to all of us. Thank you. As most of you know, city police and fire departments responded to a series of alarms before dawn this morning at this building. Thanks to the quick and decisive action by firefighters, an extremely intense fire was contained within this wing of the building, but not before it had done the damage which you can observe here. Both the police and fire departments with assistance from the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms are conducting an intensive and thorough investigation of this incident. Any official statement on the cause and origin of the fire will be made by an official of one of those agencies, and I will confine my remarks to the broader public policy implications of this event. If, as now appears likely, this was a deliberately caused fire, then it represents a major crime, and it will be dealt with accordingly. We will spare no effort to identify and apprehend those responsible and to bring them swiftly to justice. But if indeed this was a deliberate act, then it is worse than a crime. It is an act of barbarism and of terrorism, which it is hard to imagine that anyone could think would be appropriate in Missoula. I know, as we all know, how divisive and emotional the issue of abortion has become. Neither those divisions nor those emotions are strangers to Missoula. But if Missoula is to be the civilized city that it is more and more widely acclaimed to be, then we have a special responsibility to approach our differences civilly. However strongly Missoulians may disagree about the issue of abortion, I would hope that we could be united in condemning acts like this, which can only weaken our ability to resolve our differences. As mayor of Missoula, I would ask both pro-choice and pro-life Missoulians 
to join together in affirming our concern for Missoula by condemning with one voice this act in the night. But I am afraid that we will not be able to join together in affirming the civility of our city unless we use this terrible occasion as an opportunity to challenge ourselves anew to address the underlying issue of abortion itself in the most civilized way we can manage, teaching ourselves new skills of listening, of speaking so that we may be heard by those of our neighbors who disagree with us, showing one another the genuine human respect which alone can make Missoula such an outstanding place to live. If we begin speaking to one another through acts like this, Missoula must be the poorer for it. So let us rededicate ourselves to a higher and a more humane kind of conversation. I'm Ann Mary Dusso, Chair of the Board of County Commissioners. The Board of County Commissioners condemns violence of any kind toward any citizen or property. Such acts of violence like this interferes with the rights of innocent people and will not be tolerated. We fully support the utilization of all appropriate law enforcement and fire protection personnel in the search and apprehension of those responsible for this terrorism. Our citizens must feel free, protected, and secure as they go about their daily and their personal business. Those rights are guaranteed for all, and Missoula County will not be a place where a small minority dominate by fear and by hate. Hello, my name is Barbara Behrens. I'm president of the board of directors of Blue Mountain Clinic. I've been asked to read this press release from Max Baucus's office. Max Baucus issued today the following statement in response to the apparent arson fire at the Blue Mountain Clinic. Reprehensible, cowardly, criminal conduct. That's what I think of acts of violence like the apparent arson fire early this morning at Blue Mountain Clinic in Missoula. I believe that the decision whether or not to have an abortion should be made by a woman according to her beliefs, circumstances, and religion. While I respect the rights of those who believe otherwise to peacefully express their opinions, I strongly condemn any individual or group who employs or condones acts of violence such as the apparent arson fire at the Blue Mountain Clinic. If the investigation determines that this fire was in fact started by an individual or group of people seeking to express themselves by use of violence, I hope the individual or group involved are punished to the full extent of the law. Thank you. Hello, I'm Deborah France and I'm the Executive Director of Planned Parenthood of Missoula. I have two statements to read today. The first is from a 20 physicians at the Western Montana Clinic. As physicians, we are deeply troubled by the apparent arson at the Blue Mountain Clinic this morning. If the fire was set as a deliberate act, then the opportunity for many men and women to receive medical services has been restricted by the violent act of a few law-breaking individuals. We deplore the use of violence to settle differences. We deplore the ability of a few to interview, interfere with the delivery of health care services to many deserving patients. We support everyone's right to, to an opinion, but suggest that disagreements of this nature be dealt with in the legislature, the newspapers, and through public forums instead of by acts of violence. Second, I'd like to read a statement from Planned Parenthood of Missoula. This tragic fire is indeed the result of arson, and Planned Parenthood of Missoula deplores the violence and condemns the person or persons who would commit such a heinous and cowardly crime. 
Our hearts go out to the staff, board, volunteers, and clients of the Blue Mountain Clinic, and we vow that we are united with our sister health care providers in refusing to accept this terrorism. Women and families in Western Montana deserve the type of quality health care that the Blue Mountain Clinic provided and will continue to provide. And we at Planned Parenthood of Missoula will work with the Blue Mountain Clinic to continue to provide this type of care. Together we will stand in our commitment to quality health care, in our commitment to women's reproductive freedom, and in our refusal to, to be intimidated by criminals and zealots. In closing, I'd like to say that there is a notepad circulating in the crowd for people who would like to volunteer to help. Put your name and address and someone will be getting to you eventually. Second of all, if you would like to make a donation to the Blue Mountain Clinic Building Fund, you can send it care of the shipping depot. And third of all, there will be a rally tomorrow at noon right here to express our feelings on this. If each one of you could call five of your friends this evening, that will be a rally. Thank you all very much for coming on behalf of the Blue Mountain Clinic. We appreciate your support and your good wishes. Apparently I didn't say when the rally is, tomorrow at noon. Thank you.